What's up guys, Torkenstein here with another tutorial for y'all. This one happens to be on HD clips, specifically from the Hapog 1212 uh, PVR. Um, one is, one of the questions everybody asks me is, what program do you edit your clips with? What do you cut them with? Things like that. To be honest with y'all, I don't use Sony Vegas because it's, a pile of shit when it comes to HD clips like M2TS files and all of that. Um, I personally use main concept reference as you can see here. Um, you guys are gonna ask me where the hell to get this program. I'm gonna put a full link to the the full version of the program on the video description so look out for that. Um, probably also gonna put a link to a couple of codecs and shit that you guys need to download to be able to edit your clips in Vegas if you want um, but for now I'm going to focus on main concept to make sure we got enough time um, let's say that you've downloaded and installed this program because um, any idiot can do that if you can't do that you shouldn't be messing with HD clips to begin with um, I've got here uh, another program you need to get is uh, media player classic home cinema it looks cheesy as hell, but it plays HD clips so much better than regular, you know, the newer version of Media Center or um, what do you call it? Windows Media Player. Uh, it works a lot better. So the clip that I'm going to be bringing in and cutting in this main concept reference program is going to be uh, just an average tour clip, nothing special. I know that it starts at 351 and that it ends at well let's find out and I can't do that I guess because I'm recording so alright so I know that I shot them at f four minutes uh, so it would be 350 to let's call it 401 so what you do is you bring your clip in here it's going to import it and you'll see it here. What you want to do is you're going to hit position and you're going to type in 350. And that's going to move this thing automatically to 350. Yeah, this is where I'm running towards torque. Press this here, that's the start point. All right. And what did I say it was? 401. Okay. So we're going to go to 401. 01. You're going to see that's where I got the double right there. All right, so we're going to set the end point, which is this. All right, after you do that, you're going to see preset down here. Now, you're not going to have uh, the same preset list that I do because I spent hours of my time tweaking this and getting the best possible settings possible in this program. So what I do is I choose HD, 1080p, YouTube Ready even though it's really 1080i. Um, the type, you're going to go to the DivX file format, this right here. Under video, set everything up like this, okay? You can pause it on your own time. I'm not going to sit here and read them all out to you guys and put you to sleep. Um, you know, obviously YouTube compresses it more, but for having it on your computer, you want the best quality possible. I always set the bit rate to 10, 10,000, um, because that's what I record in with the bog. Um, I don't really mess with too much of the audio or anything else because it it comes out pretty good but you may want to match your settings to this and as far as stream just make sure it's in the DivX DMF file format um, you're obviously going to need your DivX codec plugin set if you don't have it you must not watch very movie you know very many movies on your computer or some shit because everybody's got DivX plugins um, Filters, I don't touch that. All right, so what you're going to do is once you do all that, you're going to want to save your template. And obviously, I, you know, I'm going to need to do a new one to show you guys that, but I'm not going to actually do it. But just make create a new one. You're going to, you would choose this to create a new template and use all the settings that I have here, okay? And basically, what you're going to do after that is select output file and, you know, just save it whatever folder you want. Dot DIVX, DIVX. Save it and then you've got your clip. It's cut, 
in full HD. It, it doesn't cut any of the quality out. I mean, side by side, compared to the original, you can't tell the difference. All right, this is what I update and upload all my clips into YouTube that you guys watch. And uh, that's how I do that. Uh, as far as being able to bring your clips into um, Sony Vegas, you guys are going to need to watch my uh, my other tutorial for that as far as bringing clips into Vegas and being able to edit them. But I will show you a codec that you need. Um, by the way, this is going to be the link that I'm going to post in the... Uh, the video description for you guys to download that main concept program it's badass you guys need to get it if you're editing in HD anyway um, I'm gonna show you guys a website that uh, you need to get the the codec for to be able to import M2TS or HD clips into Vegas it's called the K light codec pack and you can get it right from the number one link right there what I do is I get the standard, you don't need any of the other shit. Click on that, download it, install it, reboot your computer, make sure it's version 5.05, .05. that's the latest and greatest, works like a champ. With that, you can then bring in, you have to have Sony Vegas 8.0C or higher. You can use Sony Vegas 9, but it's a little buggy in my opinion. I have both, but I use Sony Vegas 8.0C if I want to do some montage editing or you know some stuff like that and yes my montage is halfway done and I'm editing it myself since everybody and their mother's too lazy to do it for me and I've been waiting six months anyway back on topic um, you need the K-Lite Kodak pack if you want to import M2TS or HD clips into Sony Vegas alright and the other thing that I told you guys about that you need to get is that um, Windows Media um, that old ass program Windows Media Player Classic and you can easily get that from Google alright for you lazy people I'll probably post that in the video description as well and you can get that from anywhere I mean I don't know which version I have but um 6.4.9.1 seems to be the newest um, just go ahead and download that, set that as your default player, at least for the DivX clips and the uh, M2TS. Because I'm telling you, if you try to view M2TS files in regular Windows, Windows Media Player, it sucks balls and it's going to lag up like a motherfucker. Not sure if I got enough time to finish this, but the last codec that you need is. Um, Let's see here. D the DivX codec. And you can get that right from DivXMovies.com. Alright, just download this, install it, and you'll be good to go. You can edit all your clips, and you'll, you'll be very satisfied, believe me. You won't lose any quality, and it won't lag. Alright, until next time, take it easy.